I like to consider myself like a voracious reader. I have always been a reader. I love to read and somehow I've fallen away from it. But I, my habits of purchasing and accumulating books, that hasn't gone away. So I have a stack of books that are left unfinished on my nightstand. Not because they're bad, I just haven't gotten around to reading them yet. So I thought to myself, I'm gonna hold myself accountable. And what better way to hold myself accountable than to announce it to all you out in YouTube land. And I'm sure some of you share my misery of being a reader who's fallen out of the habit. So I'm gonna hold myself accountable to finishing 12 books by the end of this year. And I'm gonna try and finish the ones that I have on my nightstand, because I already have them. But that's not 12, that's, uh, no, let me look here, my stack, I've got seven, question mark, seven books on my nightstand that I'm in the middle of, and I'm gonna have to add a few more on. But these are, some of these are pretty girthy, so I'll show you what I've got so far so you know what I'm up against. P.S. Two things. Stick around because I'm going to show you how I'm setting up my book page and my Erin Condren planner to help me stay on track of this. And two, if you've read any of these books, let me know what you think and know if I should keep going or not. And if you haven't read any of them but you think you might want to, then that's cool too. Wide Acre by Philippa Gregory. I love all of her historical fiction books. I've never read the original trilogies that she started with. So I'm going to start that one. Hope it's as smutty as I heard it is. Ask Gary V. It's a book from Gary Vaynerchuk, the like marketing guy. He, I love him. He drops the F-bomb all the time. So about halfway through this book, maybe more. Where are my Hamilton people? Reading the Ron Chernow Hamilton biography. That's this fucking big. So I'm working my way through this puppy. I am not throwing away my shot. Race Talk by Daryl Wing Sue. It's actually a textbook on how to talk about race in difficult situations. And I started reading it for a sermon that I did and I'd like to finish it, but it's pretty heavy going. Speaking of heavy, this one I haven't started yet, but I can't wait to read it. This is the third reconstruction about Moral Mondays. It's written by the Reverend William J. Barber. If you watch the Democratic National Convention, he was the Reverend who spoke on the last night who was really fiery. That's this guy. Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Not a fan of Eat, Pray, Love. It's a little too frou-frou for me, but I've heard good things about this. I started it and then got interested in other stuff. So I'm gonna go back to it. One of my favorite YouTubers, Grace Helbig, her Grace. I loved her other book that she has, and so I need to finish this one. And then I literally have one more that I can't find. I know I own it, and I just don't know where the hell I put it, but I really want to read it as soon as I can find it. And that's The City of Mirrors by Justin Cronin. It's the third book in the Passage trilogy, which is about vampires, but not like sparkly Tom Cullen, not Tom Cullen, that's from The Stand. Edward Cullen vampires. It's about like scary, rip your throat out kind of vampires. And it's an awesome trilogy. And I really want to finish it. And I don't know where I put my book. Those are the books I have to read. Now let me show you how I got, went from meh to bling for my book reading page to keep me on track in my Erin Condren. Pew. Hey Jeff, I've got a page in the back of my Erin Condren. I'm using the grid page. I've got Book Washi and Ultra Skinny Washi from Night Owl Washi. I have my Washi Slicing Tool. I have this Pigma Micron, but I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. And I have these stickers that have like book ratings on them from Creative Keo on Etsy. There's the books, the stars, and then a place to write the title. I just whited that out. I'm going to use it to write the date that I finished the book. I'm going to make a grid of 12. So I'm going to start by doing three columns. I'm actually trying some measuring. So I'm going to lay this ultra skinny washi down and divide the page into thirds. And I want to lay down this book washi on the top and the bottom or just the top. I think I'll just lay it down on the top. Oh, the top and the bottom. This doesn't line up perfectly, but I did. I took three from the top, three from the bottom, counted increments of seven, and there's one square left over. So we're just gonna have to live with it. Kind of as an elementary school vibe that I don't usually go for in my planner, but I feel like it works for the whole situation. We'll see. I'm gonna lay this down kind of unevenly because this doesn't exactly, this is not perfect math, just saying. 
it's Cindy style washi tape in here. Oh my god. Everything's sticking. I cannot freaking get this right for the life of me. The light, the life of me. I can't even speak today. What's going on here? Close enough. If it's hella shitty, then it's hella shitty. But I don't think it's hella shitty. I think this is a beautiful, bright thing. So now I'm going to take these stickers from Creative Keo and I'm going to slap them in each square. One for each book that I want to have read by the end of the year. It's 12 books. Now, I showed you the stack of books I'm working on. So I'm in the process of reading half of those. So I think this is a doable goal. I am not going to, however, write the title of the books in here until I finish them, even though I've been working on them, because I adhere to the policy where if I, the book is not good for me, if I'm not enjoying it, then I don't need to read it. And that is the philosophy by which I live my life. Now, I am not including my school books in here, my textbooks, because those I have to read, I probably could include those in here, because they're of some pretty fun subjects, like drawing and shit, but to be perfectly honest with you, I think that that would be a way for me to puss out. This is for reading for leisure and informational leisure. So here you go. It's my book page. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you next time.